Mike, what you doing? Okay. Well, I'm trying to put a fishing trip together, and, and uh, gosh, Jay, have you seen this stuff? I mean, here's a trip to Alaska. I did it $7,650. You think that's for the two of us? That's just for one of us. $7,000? I could heat my house for 10 years for that, Mike. What are you talking about? We've got plenty of places to fish right near our houses, right on the way to work. I bet you, let me think, I, I've got six or seven places I could fish between my house and work, and between a half hour from my house and a half an hour from work. Well, compared to going to Patagonia for $17,850 per person, why don't we get started? And you know what I think we should do? I think we should make some videos of our favorite spots, showing the fish that we can catch for nothing. You know, that's a great idea, Mike. But aren't you worried people will start fishing our, our spots and take all the fish? Well, so what? It's all catch and release. Yeah, that's true. And most of the places we fish are stocked by the good old Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife, the state of Maine. Your $23 fishing license fee in action. Hi Mike, it's Jay. Hey listen, I just came back from Egypt Pond. There's some trout there. Wanna go fishing tomorrow morning? Yeah, I, I did record some tonight. Uh, I'll put that up and uh, we can see what we can uh, catch tomorrow. See, yeah, six o'clock. Six o'clock be good. See you then. So tonight, I'm at Egypt Pond. Another nice little pond close to home. One other family here fishing. Beautiful night in Maine. Let's see what we can catch. There you go, a Maine raised brook trout. Looks like about a 10, 11 incher on a black nosed ace. And as the sun starts to set, one last beautiful brook trout. And he's ready to be let go in good shape. There he is down there. So we're back at Egypt Pond this morning. It's another beautiful morning, not a, no wind, a little cloudy, but who cares? So, when I say we're fishing on the way to work, we really are. Um, you can see Mike here, got his bow tie on. He uses that as a drying patch uh, when we fish with dry flies. So, uh, let's go out and catch ourselves some trout, Mike. All right. Don't fall in there, it's kind of mucky. So Mike's using his uh, famous favorite elk hair caddis. What color is the body? Green. 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 Okay. I've had some good luck with orange this year. Better move out of the way. That one, the last one was kind of close. <laughs> There's one jumping out there.
got him now. Stuck in a shoebox, shuffled away. Got your memories, it just won't stay. Head in the front end. Almost me and you. Before the wind blew. And that one's only an hors d'oeuvre. Nice little brookie. Himself. So Mike. So now you're recording. <laughs> now I'm recording. <laughs> so we had a pretty good morning here. Catch any fish? No, I didn't catch any. I had a few strikes, but I had a good time. Well, it was good anyway. It wasn't raining. You caught three or four, didn't you? I did. Yeah. They were pretty good. Yeah. So it's time to go to work. Remember, look for places close to home to fish and have a good time doing it. We'll see you later. This is Jay and your Mike, right? Uh, yeah, Mike. Mike. Jay and Mike saying goodbye for now. <laughs>